low-frequency pulsed magnetic therapy and its strong vasodilatory effect on the precapillary arterioles and capillaries improves microcirculation of the oxygenated blood and nutrient supply in the central nervous system. This results in optimization of conditions for normal functioning of the nervous system and possible repair and regeneration of damaged tissues. It also results in adjustment of the muscle tonus, direct stimulation of neurons, and an anti-swelling effect. All these effects are used in rehabilitation care in children suffering from minimal brain dysfunction. Minimal brain dysfunction, or attention deficit hyperactivity disorder in children, is a disorder of the central nervous system. It develops during interuterine life due to post-birth trauma, ischemia, and many other factors. It develops a broad range of pathological symptoms, such as mobility disorders, impaired concentration and learning, hypoactivity, mood and mental performance swings, emotional ability, bedwetting, nightmares, etc. The main treatment approach is pharmacotherapy. This is focused mainly on so-called brain nutrition and increased blood flow through the blood vessels in the brain in order to improve the supply of oxygen and nutrients to the brain. The brain can heal, regenerate and function better. Biomag low-frequency pulsed magnetic therapy is the optimal method because it includes all aspects of the above-mentioned pharmacotherapy i.e. improved microcirculation and supply of oxygen and nutrients. Hence, it is a suitable physiatric method to adjust muscle tonus, improve normal functions, and accelerate healing. The remarkable effects of low-frequency magnetic therapy have been described in scientific literature, even in children with severe musculoskeletal dysfunction. We recommend that magnetic therapy be applied to the entire area of the spine and head, and in the event of mobility disorders, treatment of the affected area should also be added. Low-frequency magnetic therapy can be indicated as a complementary therapy even for wetting in children, enuresis. The following factors play roles in the pathophysiology of enuresis. Bladder function, sleep, urine production, genetic predispositions, etc. Enuresis is more common in boys than in girls. Antidiuretic hormone slows down urine production during the night and can help solve the problem. However, nocturnal wetting may lead to a broad range of psychological problems. In this case, low-frequency pulsed magnetic therapy is indicated for its anti-inflammatory and muscle relaxant effects but cannot cover all factors, such as mental contribution, genetic predispositions, etc. It is recommended to apply magnetic therapy to the lumbar spine and bladder area.